Okay, so now that we understand the uh, the laws and the terminology, let's uh, let's look at uh, a couple of concepts that are going to be uh, repeated quite often. Uh, the first thing is the idea of voltage division or voltage divider. The idea of voltage division is that when I have a, a element, here's a resistance, a second resistance, and we have two points A and B, let's call this AB, and this is positive, negative, so we have a voltage VAB, which is, which is applied across these two conductors, um, or resistors, and we say, let's say these are resistance R1 and R2, and we say that we're, we're connecting these in series. The idea of connecting elements in series is that they share a common point. That is the idea of connecting two elements in series. So this element here and this element here have a common point. So there we say that they are in series. Now a series connection of, of elements creates what we call as a voltage divider. So that is the voltage AB is divided between the first element A and the second element, uh, second first element R1 and the second element R2. So we say that there is a voltage drop here V1, a voltage drop here V2, and there's a plus minus, plus minus, and we have our current I. So since they share a common end, common point, the same current flows through both of these resistances. So one of the things we often like to think of is if is drawing this as an equivalent circuit. We say that this is same as the circuit AB with the voltage AB applied and this is my current. This is the equivalent circuit. What this tells us is that the equivalent resistance R is given by R1 plus R2. This is what series connecting them in series will give us. What we also know is that the total drop from A to B is going to be, which is VAB, is equal to the drop across the first one plus the drop across the second one. So by combining these two equations, we can, uh, and the fact that the same I flows through them, we can say that V1 is given by R1 divided by R1 plus R2 times VAB and V2 is given by R2 by R1 plus R2 times VAB which means that the voltage drop across any of these resistance is proportional to the resistance um, R1 divided by the total equivalent resistance. So these are things that we should remember. So that voltage is divide voltage divided as that this is the equivalent resistance of a voltage divider now let's take a look at uh, what what happens if you connect elements in parallel so if i connect two elements in parallel so here's my element r1 and element r2 and here we have again a voltage so this is my point a and point b so we have a voltage vab which is by the way the same voltage across these two points also and and we have a current i now i is going to split between these two paths i1 and i2 you can think of this as a uh, water flowing uh, along a path and there are two possible paths to the water some of the water is going to go this path and this, some water is going to take the other path now the in, in this case the amount of water and again here that's that's equivalent to current the amount of current that flows through r1 and r2 can be can be calculated based on what the values of r1 and r2 are Let's, um, let's see what this one looks like in its equivalent form. So we say that this is the equivalent resistance R and this is again AB and this is our current I. So the equivalent resistance R in when we, when we have parallel 
connection. Again, the idea of parallel connection is that they share two points in common. That is the two endpoints. So R1 and R2 have the same endpoints. So they're, they're parallel, connected in parallel. R is now given by R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. Uh, this is simply another way of writing 1 by r equals 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2. What we also see is that the voltage across this v1 and v2 are really the same. So v1 equals v2 equals vab and this should be obvious to you because the voltage across the element R1 is the voltage between these two points which is also known to be VAB. The voltage across this is the voltage across these two points which is also known to be VAB. Now what we know is I is equal to I1 plus I2 because the current is divided and we can also write based on these equations we can write that I1 is given by R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times I and I2 is R1 divided by R1 plus R2 times I. So this is different from our, our voltage division. This is our current division and current division says that the current is divided I1 and into two paths if there are two paths and the current is determined by the relative voltages I1 is based on R2 in the numerator and I2 is based on R1 in the numerator something to remember uh, because this is a very common mistake students make. So to summarize then in parallel when we're working with parallel circuits we have current division this is the equivalent resistance and current is equivalently divided in the ratio in these ratios.